what's going on guys all right so i just got the fresh park rc ramp in i'm gonna throw this thing together and see what it takes to do so got my trusty dog and my drill to help me and uh probably fast forward through some of it and just kind of show any tough spots um did have to print the instructions off of online so i i mean there's like 20 some pages i literally only did like i think 12 of them front and back just to just to have what I needed so um, but it is a two panel setup um, you're gonna have to make something like this or get yourself something like this to make the three panels all three panels are in there but if you want to make it slope and ramp up like the three ones showing right there um, that's what it takes so uh, I'm gonna do it as a two we're gonna test it out like that and then I'm going to do it as a three myself and I'll try to show that as well whatever I do so I'm gonna go ahead and get started unbox this thing um, dog is going crazy right now um, trying not to get clipped on my dog and uh, get this thing undone so all right guys let's see what we got This is the flat one, and these are the two curved ones. These are what you're going to have to replicate, apparently, to, to make this uh, a three panel. So we'll see if the hardware is in here for that. Uh, there's tons of hardware in here, so it might have the extra hardware we need to do it. Let's see. And these are the extension legs. All right. All right, so going off of the looks of it, it's like this. The curvature looks to be in the middle, so it doesn't look like it's either way. All the screws are uh, the same on both sides, so I guess just pick a side. This like this, here, and that like that. So we're gonna need these screws. Looks good. Alright. Oh, probably need to put my washers on, damn it. Alright, step one is done. This is pretty self explanatory here. This has got a little movement, so that's good because you want it to when we line up the next one. Um, let's see here, but I'm just following these just so I don't make any mistakes. And I'm going to run out of pages here because apparently I didn't print enough. I didn't get the legs, but I'll go back and look at the other one for the legs of the other one. Should be much different. Alright, so we're just going to connect the other curved panel uh, to this one the same way. Two screws in and go from there. That's easy enough. So my instructions need, I, I'm going to need the other ones just to make sure, um, because I know this piece goes here somewhere. Now I know it's a connection piece that this can mount this and have another one come up and slope off of it. And there's different configurations you can set this up with, but I want to make sure that I'm setting it up right. All right, so when I went in on the instructions, this thing uh, screws here. If this is the top, this is where I'm gonna put my legs at. Um, this is saying plate this screw here, and then I'm guessing it's just gonna hold it by leaning on that, because when I was trying to do both, even when I got it to work, it was making it too flat in the middle. So uh, it shows only one screw being in there for this connection, so that's what we're gonna roll with. So now, right, there you go. So, once I tighten it down, 
and this is the top plate. It'll all be good. All right, so we got everything together. It's all tight, everything's good. Um, again, I'm only doing the two here. Uh, even the pictures I just looked and saw online only showed one each. And like you say, you can clearly see they don't line up. So it must only be that way. And it is, I mean, it's it's flimsy enough that, I mean, uh, sturdy enough that I can pick it up and wobble it and it's not flexing here. And when it's laying down like this, it's going to put the pressure downward on it so it's not going to go anywhere so this is going to be my top that I mount my legs to uh, and again I'm only going to do a two ramp setup now so for the two ramp setup it's the um, legs down here at the end and you got to connect the little legs here so I'm going to go ahead and get that going I don't know how much of I'm going to show and then of course if you want to do the ramp style like this you put this like this and then you put the other ramp coming down at an angle here and then you bend the legs down and you'll be able to have like a, a slight incline like this and then of course the little slope down but um, we're not going to do that yet all right is that one Alright, now the one, the bag that comes with the rubber bushings and things in it, this is going to be the final one. This is going to be the one that goes down here on the end because where these rubber bushings and things are is what connects to um, this, this post here. It's actually this end of that post connects to those two legs. And then these are the extension pieces that come out that these two hold. So this all goes together and these are going to be the legs here for the middle um, just to give it that middle support. So uh, these disappear when we do the other setup um, in the bracing. It relies on the bracing in the back leg I think. But we'll, uh, we'll talk about that again when we get to that point. Alright so these panels all look the same. These are just packaged separately, so I think since the top clamp piece for the longer foot needs two on each side, that these are the ones they are. They're just the separate ones, um, but they're the exact same plates. And then this goes off the top like this, like so. All right. So, so you got a little play there. Just gonna put the other side on. All right, so the instructions showed these bushings going in here like this. Even though it wise it opens some and, and spreads it. Like that fits really good in there that way, but I am going to follow the instruction. And put this in here like this. Alright, I got it a little tight, but I can still move it, uh, but there's not much thread, so I definitely want to get it, uh, it's almost flush with the end, so I definitely want to make sure it was tight. Still got to tighten all this up, but I'll wait till I get my piece on. I guess I can, since this is adjustable, I guess I can tighten these down now so that's not moving. Alright, so the way this is going to work is when this is this 
piece here is going to go through here so when it's at three foot or when it's at the three panel setup this should go right through this we'll see here all right so I'm in the hole there so now I'm in the hole that is going to give the three panel setup stability so when I do get the three panel that's how that works so I think for the meantime what you do is just shove it in there and tighten that down on it and it's in there it doesn't go up any further than that because of the top screw but it doesn't need to so um, that's it right there this legs done just gonna ha go ahead and do this leg up next and then of course we'll put a quick little footers on there and the ramp will be done and clearly I'm not gonna be able to show you guys this tonight but you know it'll be done and we'll, we'll uh, see if, if I can show you as much as I can tonight and then we'll get it out some cars tomorrow and uh, see if we can't and then we got some cars tomorrow and see if we can have some fun with them. So uh, again, we're going two panel at first. I don't need to really mention that again. All right, this is a pain of the ass to get on because of the way it's opening these bushings. I'm sure these bushings, when they flatten out a little bit and get worn in, it'll be a little easier. But, uh, man, I'll tell you, squeezing that together is a problem, so that's why I went and got my vices. Again, you can see I've gotten these three tightened already, but you can see it's nice and flush on this more sturdy piece. And you can see right here I got the screw in. Actually, I actually had to fold this down. So the, the purpose of this piece at the end here is literally for bracing and a nice flat support. So, you know, don't put your legs on and just think you're done and you don't need this piece. Uh, you're definitely going to need this piece. Nice. And now that won't have to come off at all. Unless you want to do a three panel setup or unless you go to the other style setup and then you'll take it and flip it around however you want. And <clears throat> I could flip it around leave it like this if I know I'm going to make it a, um, a bridge type setup later on. But like I said I'll play around with it. It's only four screws. I'll play around with that again later and just take them back off. So first things first make sure your legs are straight up and down like that and find the most comfortable spot which looks like right here for this one yep it's this way right there put these through All right, guys. So I got it done, man. I tell you, it was a little trickier than I thought. But once once I got it all figured out, it, it was no big deal. Um, it was just trying to figure out what holes went where and things like that, and the screws with the instructions um, for for the plates in between. But there's the ramp. Came out looking pretty good, man. I can't wait. I got it's exactly how it needs to be. It's got support right in the middle. Uh, it just it looks awesome. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to get it out there, man. It's it's definitely much wider. Um, you know, if my kid was here, I have it out, or if, you know, tomorrow I'll get an RC car on there and I lay it on there and give you guys a good visual of this. But it's 39 and a half inches wide. Uh, my black ramps and most black BMX ramps that a lot of people use are about 24 inches, um, and they're also nowhere near as high. I mean, just going off of what I'm looking at in the camera, I would say my launch point for my black ramps is about right here. Um, so you, you've got this and you've also got the other panel which will probably put the launch point up here which is about 27 inches um, and this is I'm, I'm guessing right now just by looking at it it's close to a 
uh, 18 inches or something like that right now of a launch point uh, but the the other panel with uh, the extension legs you're going to get that much more extension out of it because you're literally taking it down to that screw and that's your that's how much taller it is so it, it's a good setup um, I will have to come up with something here um, we're going to have to replicate this piece if you want to do a three panel um, and to do so you know all you have to worry about you don't have to worry about the legs because we're going to put it up top and up top there um, that whole assembly is going to come off and go on to the other panel which I have laying up against there right that's the flat panel that'll go up top um, I'll have to take the hinge piece the piece I have up there the bar going across I'll take that off that'll go on the end of that one and then I'll have to make something like a flat plate probably a flat sheet of steel with four screws that does like this does um, bolts on the one side and just kind of holds it on the other so that's what I'll do up there I'll have the other thing up and that'll give me that extra height but for the kids playing around and you know just getting it out tomorrow and showing this thing I will probably keep it at this setup since this is how it comes out the box. You don't have to do anything extra to get this set up. And uh, there's a couple other configurations and things like that you can do with this now that you have it like this. But um, for the time being, this is how I'm going to leave it because I don't feel like moving all the panels around. I just kind of want to show it and get out there and have some fun with it. And then, of course, I'll get it up to a, a three panel and really start launching some stuff here. Uh, you know, if times that I can't get out to my bash spot or, you know, the grass is too thick for some of the other trucks, I'll actually have something I can get some get some momentum, some speed, and hit with a little bit more acceleration instead of having to try to line it up as I'm going. But it's an awesome setup, man. It's it's a good price for what it is. I'm very happy with it. I think it's very well made. And, and you know, that's, that's pretty much all I can say about it right now until we get out there and, and just have some fun. And I'll set some cameras up and... We'll get some get some footage of tomorrow and see how it all handles. And I don't I don't think there's going to be anything wrong with it. I think it'll just be a bunch of kids launching the truck and having a great time. And that's what it's all about. But that's where I'm going to leave it at tonight, guys. Um, if, again, if you guys have any questions, hit me up. I, I'm going to try to edit all this up, make it very short and sweet to the point, showing only you know what I had to do in the end result to get it together. Not none of my uh, trial and error stuff that I did so I'll clean all that up for you guys and hopefully give you guys a good video of how to put this together and then how to get what we got right here so it's a good setup I'm gonna set mine off to the side and then tomorrow tomorrow will be the day all right guys I appreciate everybody for watching